Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Thurn Solomon has got selections here for Tuesday, April 2nd. For again, today's play of the day, a quick recap what happened yesterday. We had a loss in hockey with the Lightning to win regulation at minus 125 on Bet MGM. Pretty unfortunate loss because the Lightning had two goals overturned, and they were also inches away from a go-ahead goal late in the third period as the puck rolled across the goal line but never crossed, and then Detroit scored a couple minutes later. So either way, pretty unfortunate is what it is, though. Uh, picked up a loss. Look for a winner here on Tuesday. But for the actual play, do you want to take care of some housekeeping? I want to remind everybody once again to check out our website. They can pick some more experts. Use promo code 55RFWSX25. Get 25% off. If you cannot remember the code, that's fine. It's also in the description. Plus, we also have an offer from BetMGM in the description. So if you are trying to join a new book and BetMGM's in your radar, you should join. And you do so, use the link. It'll get a nice sign-up bonus. Plus, a reminder, hit the like button, subscribe, and the bell so you get notified, and you'll never miss an episode. And for the actual play, going to hockey once again. You can look at a player prop in a matchup between the Canucks and Golden Knights game taking place at around 10 p.m. Eastern time. And for this play, I actually gave out this exact same player prop a week ago, and it won, so we are going to run it back. We're going to take Canucks defenseman Heronic. We're going to take him under half a point at minus 140 on DraftKings. Time recording of 2 a.m. Eastern time. Covering is why we're going to take Heronic under half a point in this game. First reason, he's been basically a zero offensively for the last couple of weeks, as he's had zero points in 10 of his last 11 games. Plus, Vegas has been really good defensively lately and all season long. The Golden Knights are allowing just 2.89 goals per game, which ranks 10th in the league. And recently, the Golden Knights have flipped the switch even more so defensively, as they have been really, really good. They've allowed less than three goals in five of their last six games. And a big reason for that has been Logan Thompson, who has really stepped up ever since Hill got injured. Last six appearances, a 1.00 goals against average and a 962 save percentage. So he has been amazing, and you're looking at the defense holding teams to one or two in five of their last six games. I just question how many goals Vancouver is actually going to score in this game, which should limit the chances of Heronic actually recording a point in this game. Plus, Heronic is not in a prominent role in the special teams department, as he is not on the first line power play. So power play points are few and far between for him, which should also decrease the probability of him getting a point in this game. And to go through his actual numbers against Vegas, he has done nothing so far this season. And in the last couple of meetings, even before this season, as he's had zero points in four of his last five games against Vegas, including zero points in each of the first two meetings this season. So once again, you're going to give me a defenseman who's had zero points in 10 of 11 against a red hot defense and a goalie that has allowed 1.00 goals uh, per game uh, over the last six. I just think you're looking at a spot where Heronic's not going to be able to do enough offensively in order to actually get on the score sheet. Vegas might allow one goals or two goals, maybe even three, but I just think that Heronic's offensive role in this team is pretty limited in general, and as a result, his uh, prop is pretty cheap. I think it should be closer to minus 150 or minus 160, but I'll take it now before the line moves. Well, then once again, here for Tuesday, April 2nd, is going to be on Heronic under half a point at minus 140 on DraftKings. Bye, everyone.